Hi, I'm Emily Richards, and today I want to show you how to make a delicious turkey fettuccine primavera. Really easy to do and has some great flavors. I'm going to start off with browning my turkey. I've already cut up a boneless, skinless turkey breast, and I'm just going to brown it. I have a little bit of oil in my skillet. Just like that. And I like to do it in batches to make sure that it browns evenly. Once the turkey's picked up a little bit of that golden brown color, we're going to remove it to a plate so that I can do another batch. I love using the turkey in this recipe because it's so lean and adds wonderful protein with the mix of vegetables that we're going to use. So I'm going to do another batch of the turkey. And we're not fully cooking the turkey at this point because we're going to be adding it back into the sauce to finish cooking. For a quick preparation tip, you can look for turkey stir-fry strips available in the grocery store and substitute that for the boneless, skinless turkey breast. So our second batch of turkey breast is nicely browned, and I'm going to take that out of our pan, and then I'm going to start adding the vegetables. This is a great sauce because everything goes together in the pan, and I've used a larger pan so that I can add the pasta to it after to toss everything together. And then I'm just going to reduce the heat to about medium before I add everything else. And I'm going to add some mushrooms. These are already sliced. Again, making this very, very quick. And a little bit of onion and garlic as well. And now we want to cook this just to get some of the water out of the mushroom and get that flavor started and happening in the pan. That's going to take about five minutes. Once the mushrooms and onion mixture have cooked for a little bit, we're going to add the flour. And this is going to help thicken our sauce a little bit. So I'm going to sprinkle the flour right into the pan. And then just make sure that I stir it to get the mushrooms coated nicely. And what we're going to do here is cook the flour. So it will take away some of that raw flour flavor. The pan will look a little bit dry, but what we want to do is lift up all those brown bits out of the pan, because that's where all the flavor is. Remember, we browned that turkey in there, so it really started to build up the flavor. Now we're going to add just about half a cup of a dry white wine. Chardonnay would be perfect for this. So I'm just going to add about half of a cup. Just like that, and then we'll stir it, and all those brown bits are going to start to come up. This smells amazing. I'm just going to stir that around. And I have my pasta already in my pot cooking. And it's been cooking for about eight minutes. And at this point, we're going to add our vegetables. So we want lots of bright color because primavera means spring in Italian. So we want lots of fresh colors. So what I have here is some chopped broccoli florets and carrots. So I'm going to dump that right in so that it cooks for the last two minutes with the pasta. So not only are we going to have a little bit of color, but we're also going to have a little bit of texture from those vegetables. So just make sure you give it a stir, because we want the vegetables to be nice and tender crisp. So we'll just let that cook for a couple of minutes. And while that's happening, we're going to finish up our sauce. So I'm going to add a little bit of stock and some cream. Now I'm actually using a 10% cream, which is a little bit non-traditional, but because I have the flour in here, it's going to help thicken the sauce. Traditionally, you'd use a heavier cream, but because we're using the lighter cream, we're still going to get that richness, and it's still going to thicken up with the help of the flour. At this point, you're going to add back our brown turkey and all those juices that are accumulated there into the plate. We're going to get that all into the pan. I'm also going to add a red pepper, thinly sliced, goes right in there. And again, whatever color pepper you happen to have at home, feel free to use it. And then you can't have pasta without some cheese. So we are going to add a little bit of freshly grated Parmesan as well. And that also is going to help thicken our sauce. And it'll be just the right texture and creaminess to coat our pasta mixture. So I'm going to add our Parmesan in there too. And if you want, you can save a little bit to sprinkle on top later. But I'm going to add the entire amount right into the sauce to build the flavor. So because we've cut the turkey nice and thin, it's not going to take very long to cook it through. You just want to make sure that there's no hint of pink inside. 
We want to make sure our pasta is cooked properly. What I recommend is that you take a strand out and taste it for doneness. You want it to have a slight bite when you bite into it, and that's called al dente, the perfect pasta texture. And what I'm going to do is strain my pasta. Now, I always recommend keeping a little bit of cooking water, just in case you want to moisten the pasta a little bit while it's cooking. So we have lots of pasta water. I'm going to add our pasta and vegetables right into our skillet. And then I'm going to use my two spoons here to toss it all together. And basically, we just want all the sauce to coat that pasta nicely. The cheese and the turkey in here, all together with the fresh vegetables, this is truly a nice homemade dinner. And really, really quick and simple. And I like to serve this with just a little sprinkle of fresh parsley. So I'm going to take my tongs here and serve up a really nice bowl full of our pasta. And make sure you get some of those veggies in there too. Lots of great color. And a bit of fresh parsley right on top. And dinner is served. For more family-friendly recipes, visit makesitsuper.ca.